All right. Who is ready for battle? What are your thoughts on all this? My father was legionnaire, and his before him. Guess I never considered doing anything else. Keep your guard up. Some people are just born to be soldiers. Now, in our case, we are finally getting on to the second major battle of the Civil War. And this is the Battle of Fort Greenwall. So it looks like we have a few options as what's near it. You have Shore's Watchtower, which seems to be at the same elevation, roughly. You also have the Riften Stables, which seems even closer. Not sure how much I want Lucy in the middle of an armed conflict, though. So let's go ahead and go Shore's Watchtower, and let's get ready. And we did this intentionally to not get Lucy involved, so we're going to leave her here and make our way south. Element bolts at the ray. Change our shout back to normal to stagger the enemy. And let's take in the beautiful sights of Riften. As we grab some hide that absolutely makes us overweight. My goodness, what in the world are we carrying? Well, all this light, useless stuff, just go ahead and drop. We don't need any of it. All this fur and hide stuff sells for very little. I'm sure we'll have the same kind of issue when we actually get there. We'll end up having the loot fest. So just like we did before to make sure we don't get caught in a death loop again, we will quick save when we get there. So that way, if the werewolf turns screwy, uh, we'll already be saved right there. Something just beautiful about the land of Skyrim. Simplicity and complexity all at the same time. Not sure how I should feel though about half burnt down trees. Might be a dragon nearby. All right, so here is our fort. The battle has started, so let's go ahead, quick save. All right, let's break our way in. As soon as we can get through a defenses, let's go. Now, we made this precedent before. Anyone that attacks us dies. Doesn't even matter if you're supposedly on our side. Yeah, if you attack us, you're gone. Because we gotta keep our health up. We have one perk left to get. I'm afraid your high ground means nothing to a werewolf. Oh, you wanna spawn right in front of me? Okay. Down you go. Again, you have to feed on them lightning quick because the bodies disappear. And the main thing is just run around because our own people are trying to kill us too. Check our perks. We only need one more after this one.
Again, I don't care what side you're on. If you attack us, that's who we take out. Smack, smack, feed. We just need one more perk. Come on, you can do it. Smack, smack, feed. 55% left. Again, keep our distance. We want to ambush them from behind. Let's keep in mind that there's a chest back here. Navigating stairs this small with a werewolf is going to be a challenge. Let's be slow but accurate. Do you mind? I came a long way to say hi to you. And I'll feed as you fall over the edge, apparently. Hey, buddy. Bye, buddy. Alright, let the war wage down there, because at least right now they're not attacking us. That's helpful. Let's see if anyone's down here. And looks like we're right in the heart of things. Hi, guys. Don't mind us. Just passing through. Only 5% left. Looks like this is the one. Go! That was not the one. I have to be careful because Mule was starting to blend in with everyone, so she put on one of their helmets. Okay, you got lucky. But again, if you attack us, you're gone. We don't have the kind of health to be dealing with it right now. War Hero Trophy earned. Regain the Rift complete. Run away. Far away completed the battle of Fort Greenwall. And I mean like run into a completely different county. <laughs> Otherwise we'll get death locked again. I mean I'm running until the music stops. I'm running until we're off the mountain. I am running until the cows come home. Bear, why are you always... Okay. Okay, okay. Sorry, buddy. I saw a cave and I just assumed that was my B. But I do appreciate all the free feedings. It is helpful. And let's be honest, I would like to finish out the Civil War quest as an actual person. So, let's do whatever the heck we need to do to get this final perk. Go ahead and quick save. Since the quest is complete, we'll claim it at the end. We still need to get any kills we can to finish off this last perk. The wolves will attack us, so... Hey, buddies. Fox. What did the fox say? Nothing, he's dead. Unfortunately, the animals don't give you much progress towards your perk, but we'll take what we can get. At this point, anything that'll get us there, perfect. And our bloodlust should be so high right now, we don't even have to worry about it running out. The good thing is, if we can get close enough to a city to draw out the guards and take the guards out, as long as they didn't see you transform, now that we can't have. As long as they didn't see you transform, uh, you'll be okay. Oh, but we're getting it, aren't we? Quick save. I guess we'll have to deal with a dragon then. Let's just hope it's a normal dragon. Luckily it's distracted. Hey, buddy. Smack, smack. Just 
just keep working our way beside him. And he really has a hard time hitting you. There we go. That's kind of his blind spot, is if you get it right in between his neck and his wings. The good thing is, at least we can get the dragon soul from it, even though we can't feed on it. Consider yourself one lucky wolf, my friend. Man, we have a whole bunch of wolves over here. This is basically like our second home. Let's not have to repeat the dragon fight, so let's go ahead and quick save again. Because anytime in, you're in the world map, and it seems like you've been in the world map for a bit too long, the game just throws complete BS at you to make you think twice about adventuring too long in the wilderness. Last time it was a frostbite spire, this time they're throwing dragons at us. Wonder what the next ambush will be. Probably the Thalmor. At this point, we just need a few more kills to finish that perk off. Because I really don't want to go into the final battle of the Civil War. As a werewolf, considering I'm ending up killing just as many of our people as I am the enemy. And we must be near the throat of the world. Rabbit. Still hard to hit with a werewolf. But still counts. Keep it moving. Now that I see some water down here, there's probably going to be a bear. Seems like they're always near the water sources. We'll hopefully get some deer and bigger animals too. Like a mammoth will probably do pretty good. I mean, goats, there's something. It all adds up. I knew it. You weren't surprised to me this time, Bear. How many of you all do you end up jump scaring? <laughs> At this point, I've just... I've done Skyrim so much, I've literally just come to expect it. If there's a body of water, there's gonna be a bear. Courier, you're invincible. I can't even go after you. Because, you know, it's just like how the cameraman never dies. In this game, the courier never dies. So that's just a waste of time. Now, here is a whole civilization full of stuff, but I feel like it's an orc settlement. However, guards, there we go. Hey, even better stone cloak soldiers. We're at war. You all are pretty much a free power up. Fort Amol. How much you want to bet we're going there next? There it is. Werewolf perk available. With that, this should complete your final trophy for the werewolf. Now you have everything unlocked. And with that done, we can finally get the heck out of here. As you see right there, or may not see if it doesn't screen record it, werewolf uh, mastery. So that trophy is done. We can finally get rid of it if we want. In our case, just not use it. Because I don't really think that 10% sleep bonus is as helpful as a werewolf can be if you need a quick escape. So I may just keep it around. Now, a mercenary is absolutely a problem. Because I don't want you coming after me when I'm weak. You're right, victory's mine. You're dead. Whoa. 
I don't even care who hired you anymore. It's probably Maven Blackbriar. But regardless of who it is, let's get out of the werewolf. Alright, usually it doesn't matter how much your blood... You should have seen me at the height of my adventuring career. There you I go. Was fearless and took... It usually doesn't matter how much your bloodlust is. 24 hours will pretty much always knock you out of it. And back to Solitude. Let's go report into Gerald Tullius. Grab and all the pretty flowers along the way. And we are absolutely going to have to refit and tool ourselves after this one. So most likely a slice of life episode coming up. Uh, and the beginning of the next quest, I'm sure. Those rebels think they can best us. They have another thing. Because we're already dropping things because we weigh too much. They say Ulfric Stormcloak murdered the High King with his voice. Hey, Gerald. Taking control of the rift was a great victory. Ulfric must be rather nervous with us so close to his doorstep. I bet he is. There's not much up there, but if we can regain Winterhold, our proximity to Windhelm should keep Ulfric wary and wasting troops garrisoned at home. Where are my new ores, sir? You're needed in Winterhold. Report to our hidden camp there. Yes, sir. I'll be with you. Watch the skies, traveler. That was a lot faster than you thought it'd be, wasn't it? And that's because you don't always get a speech every time you go to see Gerald Tullius. Sometimes we just need to get things done. And in this case, camp near Winterhold. So let's go ahead and get ourselves repositioned there. It is right outside of the Driftshade Refuge. And it's over here, just north of it. Not too far to travel this time. Now, I do see some wild animals. Let's make sure we don't have any soul gems that need filling. Go ahead, sneak, which is pretty much not really a thing for us. And let's miss a whole bunch. How about you, deer, elk, moose, bison, whatever the heck you are? I feel like I always call them a deer and they end up being an elk. But the... Okay, camouflage sneak times a thousand. What the heck? I did not even see him there. You all make this unnecessarily difficult by never dying. Now this time it is a deer. And I think you went right into the camp. Hey, I know y'all ain't trying to steal my deer. I claimed it, I wounded it, and apparently I can't kill it. Yay us. I am telling you, I am definitely, when I go back in editing on this video, I am going to be kicking myself, literally staring right at the deer and not noticing it's standing there. That that was amazing. You know, sometimes you think it's silly when animals will freeze in place so predators don't see them. You know, sometimes it really is true. If you're in a hurry and you're just looking around, you may not see the thing that's just standing there looking at you. <laughs> I guess it's worked for rabbits all these years. Let's carry on. Rick, what you got for us this time around? Something to report? Reporting for duty. objective is Fort Kostov. The rebels are keeping some of our men prisoner there. I aim to turn that into an advantage. I've sent men to scout out the area. You are to meet them, find a way to slip in, free our men, and take over the fort. They won't be expecting an attack from the inside. This won't be easy, but that's why I'm sending you. 
Think you can handle it? Oh, uh, I think I can pull something out of my butt. Nothing I can't handle. We do this for the good of Skyrim and her people. Never forget that. You got it. Meet the men near Fort Kostav. Meaning, in the next episode, we will be tackling rescue from Fort Kostav as we continue through the reunification of Skyrim. We've already gained the Pale, we've already gained the Rift, and now we work on Winterhold. With that said, take care everyone. Werewolf done. Now the real adventure is starting to unfold. We'll see you all next time.